art is life. It is an imagination of the real world in a different way. Through it comes the expression of emotions and thoughts, an avenue of freedom and happiness, a feeling which words cannot define, a drive of passion to be felt. Contemporary art brings out an explosion of ideas which can be created with any technique and material being thought of. With it, everything is art with the aim of something valuable to the present world. It presents a disuniform style of art with meaning, highlighting the personal and cultural identity of a community. It is mostly inspired by the environment. Every artist has their own story and something unique about their artwork. And that is Professor Abladi Glover, known as the grandfather of Ghanaian contemporary art. My name is Abladi Glover, Professor Abladi Glover. I come from La. Born here, born in Accra, educated here in La. My journey as an artist, I can say, began here. It, it, it was all very to education. Uh, so I would rather say it started from here, even though nobody recognized it. I didn't recognize it myself. But uh, it was after education here, after middle school here in Kumakwa, in La, I realized I cannot uh, continue. But the good thing is that at the time there was this, uh, I'm going to introduce the um, accelerated development plan, which means they were opening up schools and they needed a lot of teachers. So they were recruiting teachers or young people who had some education to be trained as teachers. And that is how I got back into education, into teaching. Uh, of course, we were recruited and trained. In those days, it was free. Because they, they had a plan to get as many teachers as possible. And uh, I was recruited as one of those. Uh, in my, that was 19, what? That was about 1952. I went to Akopong and was trained as a teacher. But it was in teacher training that I realized uh, that I could do some art. And that all has to do with the good teacher that I met there who was teaching art. So when I came out from teacher training and realized that I didn't like teaching, I opted for art and went for training. That is how the journey began. It's all unplanned and um, it was all just, uh, you can say luck has part into something to do with it. But the fact that I could not attend secondary school and therefore opted for teacher training. And in teacher training, I recognized art as one of the areas I like. I became, I opted for art and started art teaching. So I became an art teacher. And from then on, it was a journey into art. I would, I would think of a godfather in art. I would think of that. There are good artists, great artists in Ghana who have way before me. Some of them taught me, I must say. Some of them were yes. But recent contemporary art, in recent times, I have just been lucky that I've fallen into a time that people were allowing art to die in our schools. And uh, having been enthusiastic about art, I helped to resurrect it. And that is how people refer to me as a godfather. But I'm not a godfather at all. 
and tell the Lord child. interested in my environment and my environment has a lot of people lots of people uh, that do things unstructured basa 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 everybody they do things basa basa if you go to the market it's basa basa it's just unplanned unstructured uh, it is chaotic if you might can say chaotic Yes, so the thing that uh, helped or rather would make me look at something is that kind of basa basa nature which I interest or influences my work. Even in the markets, uh, lorry stations, places where lots of people gather. And it's that spirit of unstructuredness, chaotic movement. So that uh, get my attention. Uh, I don't know why I like it, like, but that is what really captured my my interest. And by that, I'm charged to paint. So I look mostly on those unstructured situations in the society. And are, that is the, that is what makes our society real. It is it, people move about uh, without. Uh, being so formal and particular and i like to look at those settings those situations and paint such places i paint things that are um, topical i wouldn't say even topical i wouldn't use the word topical but things that um you draw people attention to most people pass, they don't know. When you, you see somebody, they pee, you don't, you don't stand to look. So people don't pay attention to it. But it's, it's, uh, it's unhygienic attention. And people do it all the time. They are passing somebody's house, and then they stand there, and they pee, they are peeing. It's not good. Well, whether it's good or bad, for me, it's to bring people's attention to it. As a artist, I, I bring people. And um, to bring people's attention on other things that attract your imagination. Like I told you, I take topical subjects. Uh, this is just the women in the market. Uh, they talk to each other, they stare at each other because they're quarreling with that woman. You know, they are quarreling all the time, gossip, they talk <laughs> all the time. Uh, that's just plain somebody passing and that's somebody sitting. But uh, the present topic is the COVID. So uh, everybody is masked. Now it's relaxed a bit, the masking. Uh, so uh, that's it, the mask. Okay, if you get to the market, everybody wear a mask. It's uh, amazing. For me, heart means life itself. Now it, it is everything. Uh, people don't realize we don't walk about, uh, not aware of the environment. And I think it's a mistake. But there's so much that. Uh, within the environment that is i think very very good or interesting um, sometimes as we sit down if somebody asks if you ask this young man to turn away ask him what's the shirt you are wearing he would not be able to tell you because he hasn't particularly looked and 
we, we are we tend to be forgetful of what is happening around us forgetful or we don't pay lot of any attention at all we, we just move about i think my eyes catch uh, the things around me and i see a lot of interesting things i watch people People ask you, you all three of you are standing differently. He is looking doing this, he is doing that, and he is doing that. You know, it's amazing. Uh, but it's, it, it all has to do with the person's character, uh, present, uh, present situation, or what he's thinking. So if you're thinking of something nice, you can just relax. If you are agitated, you can stand uh, straight and uh, be, be serious, and so on. Yes, all those things affect my attention or capture my attention and those are the things I, I look at.